This is C. Van Foss at HE.net with your IPv6 update from Hurricane Electric. As we mentioned in an earlier webcast, Hurricane Electric's Owen DeLong gave a talk at DNOC2, a meeting in Frankfurt put on by the German Network Operators Group. A portion of Owen's talk was dedicated to the options you have if you're connecting to IPv6 without a native connection. These three options are as follows. 6 and 4, which is when you tunnel your IPv6 in a B4 GRE tunnel. 6 to 4, where you tunnel your IPv6 in an auto tunnel using an AnyCasted IPv6 mapping service. And Teredo, which is when you tunnel IPv6 in an auto tunnel using a multi-server auto-configured process defined by Microsoft. There are good reasons to choose 6 and 4. GRE is well understood by many networkers. 6 and 4 is simple and deterministic. There's no any cast to worry about, so debugging is simplified. And it's controlled by two endpoint administrators. Again, nice for debugging. The disadvantage to 6 and 4 is the manual configuration necessary. Connecting to IPv6 via 6 to 4 has advantages as well. It's configured automatically, self-optimizes, and it's a good option for mobile devices. Because 6 to 4 uses any cast, debugging can be a bit trickier. And Teredo is a trendy option, and for many reasons. It auto configures, bypasses more firewalls than 6 to 4, and is enabled by default in popular operating systems. However, it is a bit more complicated, so debugging might give you pause initially. If you can't get native IPv6, there are still plenty of options for you to choose from. <music> This is C-Van Foss with your IPv6 update from Hurricane Electric. As we mentioned in an earlier webcac... Webcac? <laughs> Papa, la